Welcome to your day two daily briefing from Davos with some of my key daily observations and highlights. On the main agenda yesterday, Greta Thunberg told attendees that inaction is fueling the flames of climate change by the hour. Donald Trump delivered a speech asking to reject these prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. And China's vice premier stated that China will open its door much wider to the world. On the external agenda, I was speaking on a panel in the morning about various approaches to regulating the crypto industry. In short, while a lot of work has been done, we'll still need more clarity on other items, like crypto tax, for example. I had the chance to attend an excellent session on the future of money, organized by the Global Business Blockchain Council, featuring executives from Libra and others, where the importance of geopolitics was discussed when it comes to CBDCs. Also, great session at the Global Citizen Forum, where Nuriel Rubini discussed the potential economic and social impact of forced migration, with potentially 10% of the world's population forced to relocate by 2050 due to rising seas. And Sherry Blair shared ideas of how we can use technology to catalyze female empowerment. I actually had the chance to interview them both for my fintech capsules, so stay tuned. And at another event further down on the promenade, Microsoft Satya Nadella reiterated the importance of regulating AI, another topic that is being discussed a lot this week. Later in the evening, at a dinner organized by Consensus, Joe Lubin shared his vision on the crypto industry, and the CEO of brokerage Cantor Fitzgerald mentioned that the changes that the blockchain community is advocating for will happen but not sure if it'll be called blockchain or anything else. And finally, Davos wouldn't be Davos without the late night parties. Had the chance to attend a great party called Cool Kids on the Blockchain featuring DJ Antoine that went very, very late in the night. So it'll be big coffee day today. Well, hope this was a useful update and see you all tomorrow for another Davos Daily Update.